Hey guys, Justice Curry. I Justice Curry. I have a mind-blowing episode. Enjoy. Did you come over here from Justice Curry's channel? You're gonna live the adventure. Well then you're in for one hell of a ride. Because I'm Lauren Stone, the editor-in-chief of Toy-Wizards.com. And you're here for the collaboration between me and Justice here on my channel. A mystery package exchange. One day, Justice Curry decided to send me a package. Her package is larger than my pa A box of presents. I, in revenge, did the same. It's a little out of the ordinary. And sent him my package. So I feel a little inferior right now, but that's, that's okay. And our lives were never the same. It's toys, it's surprises, it's, it's action, it's venture, it's everything in between. What are we doing here today? Collaborations. Mr. Justice Curry and I have done a little box exchange, and so he's opening the one I sent him, and I am opening what he sent me. I can't wait to see it. And we're gonna see what sort of uh, Mishigas nonsense we have in each other's packages. Let's let's edit that part out. JC Toy Explosion and Plastic Crack. I saw Plastic Crack. That's how Justice and I became friends. Came in contact with Lauren was with the Plastic Crack documentary. Make sure to check it out on Amazon. She did a review with her toy journalist and I read it. It was really well done. I'm a big fan. I love the work he does. I love his collection. I think it stems from a really cool place of legitimate devotion and excitement. One thing that he and I have in common is that we call ourselves like bizarro selfie twins. We tease each other that we're like the bizarro versions of each other. For some reason, our faces can do like the same selfie thing. It's like, twinning she is my twin it's just like the skull is the same shape and the skin just stretches in the same way hold on i'm gonna do my best justice curry impression watch can i nail that michigan accent hey everyone justice curry here i don't know what's a michigan accent sound like i have no idea this valley girl is making herself cooler by the second and yes that valley i'm from the san fernando valley which is the same place where celebrities live and porn is from. Lauren. What is inside this box? This package came from her. It's ginormous. So my favorite thing about this box, and I'm covering it because Justice is smart enough to use a P.O. box and I do not. I give out my real address because, you know, I think there's something to the adventures of being stalked. So you know what, Justice Curry? Maybe I'm just more adventurous than you are. <laughs> All right, enough stalling. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna open this package. I get out my trusty Power Ranger Power Sword letter opener that is not an X-Acto knife, but I use it for everything and there's like lint stuck to it. All right, what do we got in here? What trouble are we up to in here? Oh, it's filled with treasure. What have I gotten myself into? Treasure, ooh. It's Warrior Babe paper dolls! And Warrior Babe in boy form paper dolls! So I will take these paper dolls and I'm gonna have fun with them. All right, what else we got? I am such a not G.I. Joe person that I have no idea if this is a custom or a real thing or if it's even from the G.I. Joe franchise. <laughs> I hope this is a custom and everyone out there right now watching this is like, well, at least we don't know what it is either, but I bet all of you guys are like, oh my God, that's the toy from this season of that toy line, Wave 12. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. Bro! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will cherish it forever. Thank you. Is this like a faker of a faker? I, I know what you were saying, Lauren. Oh, he's all loose and wobbly. Dude, you know what? Look at this. I have a Goldar collection. Going, this is going right over there. What? We got a Marvel G.I. Joe comic issue. Which one is this? It's like water damage. I like that. I may not know anything about toys, but I know everything about tchotchkes. 
This is that Burger King line. You know what? I actually have the french fries of these. I have more McDonald's and Burger King toys than you probably know. I know nothing of G.I. Joe, but let me tell you what I know about Happy Meals. Way too much, apparently. Oh, extremely rare. These are hot commodities right now. A jewelry box! Oh my god, so romantic. It's a green bird. Owl? I always have to know. I'm a creep. It smells regular. Oh my god, Justice, your house smells really clean. Good for you and you're like your wife. Seriously, it doesn't look so clean in all those videos, but you know what? Like, that laundry smell made me change my mind. All plastic transformer made out of solid gold. Street Shark Muscle Man! Sick! These are awesome! Should I just be grateful for the box? Perfect regifting thing. I mean, no, keeping. Keeping forever thing. Alright, what in the bloody... Is this Bucky O'Hare? <sighs> limp. Something or other. Let my, you gave me a limp string. A limp string and blue balls. Hopefully this is PG. G.I. Joe. All right, so it says on it, code name Scarlet. So I could try to be pimp and be like, it's Scarlet, duh. But knowing Justice Curry, he probably switched the stand from one toy with the stand in the other. And like Toilette said in her G.I. Joe video, learning the characters' names with every new toy announcement. I don't think you suck, vegans. I love you, I'm your friend. Don't unsubscribe me. Half my audience is vegans. What are you doing, Lauren? Come on, you're insulting my people. Cheers, think about the content you're watching. Cashy. All right, staff car. I support the blue. Finger puppet helmet, of course. What else we got in here? Is this a bubblegum card? As you can see, she has that big smile like I do. I like, there's a huge story happening in here. A Christmas game for my kids. I actually just threw away one of these. Certificate for $1 million. <gasps> Oh, wow. A Funko zip drive with photographs. There's writing on it. Please open off camera. <laughs> There'll be some weird behind the scenes stuff. Oh my gosh, is this emotion nervousness? I don't know what this is. Empire Strikes Back. The lunchbox. This is a funny joke because kids aren't in school. I can read between those lines. That's really funny. Justice Curry, you're filled with allegory. Lauren, you can't use words that I can't pronounce. We got a crazy leg card. You mean there's more to G.I. Joe than Baroness? The tour the shuttle Zord instructions. That's funny. Everybody actually asks me if I collect this one because I collect Power Ranger stuff. As you can see, some of my collection over yonder. I always tell them, no, I don't like the turtles or uh, With our big bug eyes and open mouth combined, we could probably eat an entire city. <laughs> Bro, I love you. <laughs> dude, you got like the same sense of humor as me. I love it. Oh, dude, an escape plan. Nice. I love it. Look, we have our bunker escape plan. This is important. This is cryptic messaging. I will make sure I hold on to these and I keep this and that if there's a disaster, I will get my chilches right over to Michigan and I will get things going. I will make sure, I, I will save you. Stay in that bunker, bro, I got your back. High fives. All this time you've been able to go home whenever you desire. Just click your heels together and repeat after me. Funny. It's like Wizard of Oz. Oh, the bunk, you know what? Bunker plan, Wizard of Oz. Bro, slammer! Dude, I haven't had a slammer in a long time. I hope this is like OG. Cause they tried to bring Pogs back not too long ago in this like 90s nostalgia box that I saw at Target. And like, I don't think they had slammers like we had back in our day. Like, that's legit. Ah, bubblegum card. Five cards, one sticker. I don't want to open this, but I might at another time. This is too cool. I like it just the way it is. And Marf, Moff Tarkin. I love that this is the last one. And Gene Simmons from Kiss. Hmm, my muse and business inspiration. But it looks like Toilette uh, wrote me a letter, so let's see. You better send that Toilette. Toilette, the toy reviewer. <laughs> Look! It's a fake human and there's a boy inside!
people tell me that this guy is a big deal and he gets lots and lots of clicks, so that's enough for me that I'm the biggest fan. Who's he? Can anyone tell me who this is? I forget. Is it Pixel Dan? No, it's Zombie Sailor. Who's this guy? I don't know. Thank you, Toy Lots. Wow, 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 wow. So make sure to subscribe for her. Please, if you haven't subscribed to me, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys soon. I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. So I love you all. Be kind to one another. Bye. Justice Curry out. Justice Curry, you sneaky son of a Bandai model kit. For those of you who don't know Justice Curry, let me give a sort of dramatic reenactment of a correspondence between the two of us. Hey dude, I just finished reviewing that whole box. It was awesome. I hope I did it justice. No pun intended. Yeah, um, did you know what everything in there was? Well, I got stuck on a few things, but overall I think I did a really good job. I don't know, I mean, I kind of winged it through some of the stuff. Great, because I'm sending you a letter explaining everything. And letter indeed. Let's read it together. To Lauren Stone, aka Toilette, aka Toy Wiz, aka Bizarro Justice Twin, from Justice Curry, aka Justin, aka Justina, aka Bizarro Lauren Twin. Reference, the rarest box of treasure in the world. Treasure, ooh. I am writing to you, hoping and praying that this package reaches you in time. It contains some of the rarest artifacts on the face of the planet. There are many spies that have been sent to intercept it, but if you are reading this, then I know that it has safely arrived. Be careful not to let it fall into the wrong hands, because you are now in great danger. Included were the rarest, most prized possessions that include the following. Blue and white G.I. Joe Scarlet is a one-of-a-kind toy that I had commissioned to give to the late Michael Jackson before his untimely death. A craft box of macaroni and cheese that was made just for you, because I know how much you love ponies. A G.I. Joe comic that is hand-drawn by Larry Hama and inked by Mark Hamill himself. <gasps> wow! A Star Wars trading card. Signed. Batman trading card in protective sleeve. This was given to me by Adam West on my 21st birthday. Muscle Man slash Streak Shark, shark Mashup. This was a test shot that was going to be in production before they decided to pull the line, so this is the only one that ever saw the light of day. A metal pog that I won playing against Kid Rock, circa 2018. Rookie that was a slammer. 24k gold G.I. Joe helmet that can be used as currency in the apocalypse. Lunchbox that George Lucas had when he was a child. Original war art done by me, real story. When I was a wee lad, autograph for authenticity on the back. That must have been our battle guide. Our bunker escape. Goldar that used to be a six inch figure, but I had a friends on the Honey I Shrunk the Kids set who allowed me to shrink him down. Bro, that's legit. A green police car was the inspiration for me to go into law enforcement. Gary Larson, a far side funny clip that was hand drawn by him and was the last known one he has ever made. The other items have special meaning and hidden powers, but you have to figure it out on your own. Winky smiley face. There, there's another dramatic reenactment within a dramatic reenactment. Sincerely, Blobby Scribble. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep this letter where no one's ever gone before. And there it shall stay until the next box.